The Microsoft outages brought a lot of sectors to a complete standstill, and this has in fact been ongoing for many, many hours now. The company's issued a statement saying that the underlying cause for the global outage has been fixed. However, the residual impact of cybersecurity outage is still continuing to affect industries and users across the globe. Now, here are some of the key sectors that have been affected due to Microsoft error. The emergency helpline number 911 is said to be still down in several American states. The outage has caused a few airlines across India, Hong Kong, Singapore, Italy, Canada and even the United States to ground their flights altogether. In Australia, people are reportedly facing payment system failures. They are having difficulties in accessing financial institutions like Australia's Stock Exchange, for instance. The outage has also impacted the London Stock Exchange. The 2024 Parisian Olympics has also been affected by the outage. However, the impact remains limited with no ticket sales having been affected because of this outage. Now, amongst the worst hit are countries such as Australia and New Zealand. And according to reports, the outage started at about 3.30 a.m. Indian Standard Time on the 19th of July. And it's not just businesses. Microsoft users are also unable to access various apps and services. Meanwhile, several flights have either been cancelled or have been delayed due to the outage. I arrived at the airport since 2 p.m. and saw this long queue. The staff informed us that the system was down and there was nothing they could do. We just had to stand and wait like this. Our flights have been cancelled, so now we're trying to find accommodation in Sydney which is not easy. Our daughters are trying to do that online and um, then we'll have to try and get a flight home somehow, somewhere, sometime, don't know. The Indian Airlines, including the likes of Indigo, Akasa and SpiceJet, are facing issues with their check-in systems. They've been forced to use alternate methods like Excel to check-in and also to manage booking services. Moreover, the web check-in feature has been temporarily unavailable for passengers across India. The millions of Windows users across the world are experiencing what is being described as the blue screen of death. Now, the outage is causing computers to shut down or to restart automatically and in some cases repeatedly. The blue screen errors can occur when a critical issue forces the windows to unexpectedly shut down or to restart. So the question remains, what caused this outage and why did it happen? Now, are you aware of a company called CrowdStrike? Now, CrowdStrike is an American-based cybersecurity company, and what is interesting is this. It provides security solutions to users and businesses across the globe. In Microsoft's case, the CrowdStrike software is integrated with Windows operating system to provide advanced security. The firm uses cloud-based AI and machine learning to detect and also to prevent threats in real time. However, the company that was meant to prevent such outages is the one that caused it are to be grounded this time around. And according to an alert that was sent by CrowdStrike, its widely used Falcon sensor software is causing Microsoft Windows to crash every time it is used. This specific uh, outage uh, has been caused by a software platform called CrowdStrike, uh, which is uh, an agent for the protection of computers against uh, intrusions, uh, malware, uh, so what we usually call antivirus, just the version of an antivirus that is installed uh, in large enterprises. Since uh, this uh, software is used across different industries uh, globally, it's one of the leading platforms on the market, uh, the outages that we are seeing uh, are uh, spread both geographically and across different industries. Microsoft has also acknowledged the issue. They've released a statement, and I quote here, we are investigating an issue impacting users' ability to access various Microsoft 365 apps and services. CrowdStrike, on the other hand, says that the issue has been isolated and a fix has also been deployed. However, the outage continues to affect different industries across the globe, and it still remains unknown as to when the operations will be fully restored. And our correspondent Disha Shah has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report from Mumbai. Listen in. Indian airlines have been one of the worst affected sector today when it comes to the global outage Microsoft technical issue. Even as we speak, it's evening and the issue is yet to be resolved. In India, we have seen 
significant impact, uh, especially with the flight delays and flight cancellations. We have seen airports affected like Mumbai, Delhi, Bengaluru, Ch Chennai, even Kolkata for that matter, where we have seen significant uh, delay as well as cancellations as well. In fact, Indigo also has released a statement where they have cancelled more than 150 flights for today, uh, which has been communicated the same to the passengers. In fact, the online services for the airline authority still continues to be temporarily unavailable. And that is why it is taking massive delay for the airport authorities. The passengers are being given manually and handwritten boarding passes because the digital and the web check-in processes on the computers are not working. And according to the officials on the ground level, they say that this issue likely will continue till midnight today. This is Ashasha reporting here for Vion World is One from Mumbai. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.